Well, this is the main room at the California Democratic Convention. Look at all these Democrats. Is the candidates, I don't know what the hell they're running for, but they're giving speeches, you can see on the big screen. But they're sitting down as they give them, which is stupid. If you have a minute. Yeah, let me talk to Erica, yeah. that's my name. Oh, I'm, what are you I'm doing? Jimmy Dore from the Jimmy Dore Show, Young Turks and KPFK. Oh, great, so can we schedule a time? Because uh, we're going oh, down. Oh, sure, somewhere. if you gotta go yeah, somewhere. We have, we have a couple things coming up. So that was me trying to get Katie Porter. Uh, I was just told <laughs> that I just gotta get her because she's very progressive. So I went and tried to talk to her for a couple of minutes and she was too busy, so feels good. So here we go, some people from Mike Levin. This is happening, people walking around like this. There'll be groups of people with signs for their candidate. Mike Levin, he's running for Congress. I don't really know much more that he, they have signs for him, but that's good, right? They have signs for him. I like signs, everybody likes a sign. I'm standing here with Ray Vandewerf, and guess what she's running for? Uh, I'm running for the American River Flood Control District in Sacramento. I bet you didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't. That it is a thing. I'm here with Malia Cohen, and she's running for the Board of Equalization, which is another one of those things I didn't even know existed. It's the, the, the biggest little board that you've never heard of. That's right. I'm learning a lot at this California Democratic Convention. You were just interviewed by Cenk Uger on Rebel Headquarters, and so you must be a big progressive. Well, yeah, I, uh, of course I'm a big progressive. I'm an environmentalist. You have to be when you're an environmentalist. Now, when I hear environmentalist, I think Putin puppet. That's what I think. Now, are you working with the Russians? Um, I don't, I don't know any Russians, so I... Oh, that's exactly what someone would say who was working with the Russians. I'm standing here with a young man just came from India, he got interested in politics by watching it online, correct? Yes, I watched the Young Turks, the Midor Show, Secular Talk, and that's why I'm here. So here I am coming down, because I didn't, I had them turn this on because I didn't want to walk down, but here I am. Watch out, Arno, you got to step off right now, and there you go, okay. It's great, I love riding those. Kate Porter, who just, Kate Porter just blew us off upstairs. Look how busy she is. <laughs> Here's Katie Porter talking to fucking nobody. It's okay. It's okay. I don't need to talk to Katie Porter. All right. Let's go find a protest. So this is against the Costa Hawkins. Costa Hawkins is the bill that uh, got rid of rent control in California. Now people want to repeal it. Repeal Costa Hawkins. That's what the signs say. That's a big issue right now. Housing's horrible in California. The rent is too damn high. What's happening, buddy? Nice to meet you. Nice to you meet you. Such a great work. I'm such a big fan of this. Oh, show. thank you very much. Everybody, I'm here with progressive candidate Angkor Patel. And tell me what you're running for. Assembly District 45 in the San Fernando Valley. Are there any issues in your races that would be considered uh, progressive? Yeah, of course. Single payer, universal health care for all, shutting down Aliso Canyon where toxic waste was not taken care of properly and now the polluters are getting away with it. Wow, that's amazing. You're very clear. This is why politicians need to speak, not in platitudes, but in concrete policies to change people's lives. How old are you, 14? I'm 14 years old, yeah. And so what makes you so interested in politics at such a young age? I am inspired by the progressive movement. And I feel like we need free college tuition, we need single buyer health care, we need all those things. And I'm the next generation of voters. So we actually need a policy and a platform that actually supports my my voting. Look at that. Fourteen year old kids smarter than the head of the party. Isn't that amazing? You were in India, you're learning to speak English. How did you learn how to speak English? Oh, I, I just watch videos and mostly political videos like two hour Bernie Sanders speeches. Oh my God, I'm such a nerd, but yeah, that's what I did. And so that's what got you turned on to progressive politics and because it just makes common sense? Exactly, it makes so much sense. You're bombing eight countries and one piece, that's not how it comes about. Your people need food in their stomach, they need good education. A country grows when its people are educated and you need to spend money on that. That's the only way it works. It's really interesting to see all different types of progressive and Democrats come together. Um, I've had some really good conversations and- uh, I like how you said that, progressives and Democrats. Well, I mean, we can all see that there's a difference. I mean, there's some people in office who don't even want to push a uh, single payer. There's a lot of conflict and everything like that, which I like. I think that makes it more democratic. That's right. Yeah. We're, we're not supposed to fall in line. We're not Republicans. That's right. right. <laughs> Tell me your name. Hi, Manny. Hey, Manny. Now, what, where are you from in California? Uh, Orange County, Costa Mesa. I thought that was all Republicans. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Trump changed that a little bit. Oh, really? So Trump is getting people to turn in Orange County? Yeah. So this last cycle, we actually um, went for Hillary Clinton in the general election. I think it's the first time since 1936 with FDR that Orange County has gone blue. So now you have all this fervor in our district because we have all these people running for Congress. Are you enthusiastic about the party right now? Are you down on the party? What do you, uh, what, what do you feel about it? Um, <laughs> good question there. I think, it's, I think it's lacking some key elements that bring in the youth. 
because you know Bernie really got this movement going, and we haven't really seen that movement be brought into party policy yet, and even bring people in the fold. Um, so to me, it's really one of those things where it's like our party is improving slowly and steadily, but we're not there yet. We need to keep going.